Have you ever wondered about guardian angels? Do you have one assigned to you? And if so, can you get to know them? Have you ever wondered if we can actually partner with angels in serving God together and bringing heaven to earth? Angels, is this, is this new age? You know, kind of, in case you don't know me, I am a preacher's kid. Okay, I got saved when I was four years old, um, grew up in church, and then I went to Bible school. And um, I've been active in ministry um, with my family for 20 some years now. And so when I talk about interacting with angels, to me, um, it doesn't sound new age at all. It actually, to me, sounds, you know, like Zechariah. It sounds like Daniel. It sounds like Jesus and the Gospels and, and John and the book of Revelation. My name is Charity Kayembe, and I have had a conversational friendship with my guardian angels for years. And I think that's actually available to all believers. You know what, if we just, if we had a verse, if we just had one scripture that would just tell us, okay, there's someone they're praying to see angels and, and God answered that prayer, then we would be comfortable. We could be confident praying to see angels too. If there was someone in the Bible, not like, you know, Jezebel or Ahab, like if there was a good guy, okay, if there was a prophet in the Bible, he prayed to see angels, God answered that prayer, then we would know, okay, this is a legitimate prayer that God honors and answers, we can pray that too. Okay, and there is such a verse. Um, so I think we even have a PowerPoint for it. Um, 2 Kings 6.15. And, um, and this is the story of Elisha and his servants. Okay, the Arameans, the bad guys, they were surrounding Elisha and his servant. And so Elisha's servant was freaking out. He was just looking at the things that are seen. And so he, he was overwhelmed. And so then Elisha prayed that God would open his eyes. Exactly. Now when the attendant of the man of God, that's Elisha, had risen early and gone out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was circling the city. And his servant said to him, alas, my master, what shall we do? But then Elisha, he said, Elisha said, don't fear. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And then he prayed. This is verse 17. This is our big verse. Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, I pray his, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the servant's eyes and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Elisha's prayer was specifically for his servant to see in the spirit, specifically to see the angels. So that means that we can do that because Elisha did it. We can model that. But why? What was the reason that he prayed this prayer? Okay, it wasn't, it's not like, oh, let's all just see angels for the sake of seeing angels. Okay, what happened? His servant was in fear. Once he can see the spiritual truth that the, the angels of God are encamped around about them, he gets out of fear. He gets into faith. Okay, that's the end game here, okay? Out of fear into faith, because this is again how angels help us serve God. We know that anything not done in faith is sin, right? We know that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Angels help us avoid sin, okay? Please God, minister to him more because they get us out of fear into faith. Um, when we can set our mind on the spirit, look at the unseen realm and live to that reality. So we're not overwhelmed and stressed out by it. We realize, oh, there are more with us than are with them, right? There are the angels of God protecting us, just like God said. He gives his angels charge over us to guard us. And, and so now we are believing more in God's power to keep us than the enemy's power to reach us. Good questions. Awesome, awesome testimonies. I'm so blessed. I'm so encouraged. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And um, I just, I hope that you guys feel equipped. I hope you feel empowered, okay? Now you, you understand you have not only God's permission, but his encouragement to engage the angelic realm, okay? We've got a strong biblical basis. And, and then most importantly, you know, not just that you can do it, but you know how to do it.